Art Ocal Glitter Explosion breaking down X Games Apex Legends ESPN EXP Invitational. Of course, when you're talking previews for this tournament, many people, if not all, are talking about perhaps the greatest player out there today, Dizzy Kobe Meadows. He was one of the first professional Apex Legends competitors to be signed to an organization, NRG. Uh, but we here at the table may not necessarily agree on him being at the top of the list. Are you on my side now? No, I think he is on oh, the top okay. of the list. That's All why right. I say we don't agree. Oh, you okay. and I. I, we thought don't was, agree. I thought it was us versus I the world. I think he is the favorite. Go NRG, because of him, are the favorite going in. You don't agree. Why? Okay, so, so hear me out. And we touched on this a little bit, but Dizzy blew up because he held the kill record for most kills in a single game, right? Yes. He came out of nowhere. He was just a force to be reckoned with. And I mean, playing with Ninja and King Richard right? on Twitch Rivals might have helped a little bit, but sure. Right. Well, the kid can pub stomp like nobody's business, okay? He can show up in a public server, and he will end up with arguably some of the highest eliminations probably in the lobby, right? I don't think that that will necessarily translate over as well into the tournament style that he's going to, into for X Games. You feel like uh, just because he's been pub stomping with reckless abandon, that that is not going to mean that he's going to do well in this tournament where he is in a custom lobby full of competitors at his level. Absolutely. And we, we you even have no saw, faith. No, it's not that I have no faith. I just don't necessarily think it's going to be so easy to take it home. I don't think he's taking it home. I think there are a ton of really good competitors out there that he needs to be worried about. So you don't think that he's the favorite at all? I mean, it, I know that the sample size is a little bit different, but I mean, how can you not say that he is not the one? He's definitely going to have all the attention. Yes. But just the idea that disagree. like it's not it's not easy for him to do what he's done. And I, and and you got to think that those skills will be transferable in a situation like this. But you're saying no. Skills, yes. Decision making is where I'm concerned. Uh. And I think that that plays such a huge role in a game like a BR game, especially Apex, that, that it could really hinder them. They've had a couple roster changes they've had to deal with. They didn't do so hot in the Face It series. You never know. You never know. And I'm just not sold. I'm not. So then why do you think that people are simply saying he is the best because he has the most attention? Do you think that I this is a celebrity think that's part syndrome? Of it. 100%. Yeah. This is just, you know what? He played with Ninja and King Richard and he had the kill record for a long time or for a while uh, in the beginning of the game. And he was one of the first standouts of the game. And he was one of the first Apex Legends uh, uh, professional players that was signed to an organization. Of course, he's going to be one of the favorites going into this all important tournament. But you're saying, nope, Nate, you know what? You're, you're suffering from celebrity. Syndrome, and, 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 and he's amazing. I'm not taking away any of his skill whatsoever, but I think it is applicable better in the style of tournaments that have been run up until X Games. See, I feel like we don't have a big enough sample size. I get what you're saying. I think it makes a very good point. Yes, he is excellent at pup stomping. Totally understand. He's playing people that are probably not on his level predominantly in those lobbies, right? However, I just can't fathom the idea that he's going to go into a tournament like this and it's not a coming out party for him in the sense that he's not going to be able to hang with all of these competitors. It just, I can't compute that necessarily. Like he's going to come in last. And all of a sudden, yes. I'm excited to see who is right here. I'm not going to make a bet on this, but I am going to hold my ground here. <laughs> Whether you agree or disagree, let us know on Twitter, ESPN underscore esports. We have a ton of these kind of videos, by the way, at youtube.com slash ESPN esports. 